welcome back to the channel. So today I've got the brand new Life Cycle Impulse or Refresh 2024 X5 X Drive 50E. So a lot of new things going on here. Obviously, one revised front fascia, revised everything for the X5 X Drive 50E. It is, of course, in Brooklyn Gray because that's what happens when you have new BMWs. It's available in Brooklyn Gray. Again, Brooklyn Gray is an M Sport exclusive color. So to get it, you will have to spend or fork over cash for that M Sport package. So let's talk about this one in particular. So it's a lot going on. So obviously revised front headlights. So revised daytime running lights and headlights. You can see sort of like this X or arrow thing going on here with the LEDs. So gone are the laser lights, which is going to happen across the lineup eventually. So laser lights look pretty cool but they're all being replaced by these active matrix LEDs to the cornering lights there. Very aggressive front fascia with the M Sport package. This also has the M Sport professional package. So your driving assistance professional package. Although I should note that it, that sensor is going to appear on all of them regardless of whether or not you get the driving assistance pro package. I imagine that is part of the subscription plans. Now, you won't be able to get Driving Assistance Pro if you don't spec it on the car, but you could get Driving Assistance Plus, which would basically be distance control, and I think, uh, is that the stop and go assistant? But blacked out kidney grill. We've got our roundel here, outlined in blue for BMW i or electric BMWs. Moving over to the side, so these are the wheels that come with the M Sport package by default. They are style 740M. They do come with the all season run flat tires, which are okay. You get you set up like 21 inch wheels. I don't think the 22s are available on the 50E, but if you were to get it on the 40 or something like that, you get the performance tires as well. So we have the red M Sport calipers, which I think look really good against Brooklyn Gray. A couple of little changes here. So 2022 had electrified by eye here on the fender as well as the charge door. Now it's been moved down here, electrified by eye in sort of these not functional side venting here. It's merely decorational. All right, take a step back. So side profile of the X5, other than say that weird vent, fake vent, looks essentially the same. So basically it's the front end, the rear end, and the interior that have all changed. And moving out back, some revised tail lights. So you have this sort of like X thing going on here, or an arrow. Which I think look pretty good. And back it up so you can take it all in here. Then we've got our trailer hitch on this one. This is a customer ordered car and pretty highly specced. Taking our 50 on this side. Again, the revised battery, I think it's like 25.7 kilowatts and excuse me, we haven't received our training yet on the LCI. That's happening next week. But range is increased from 30 to about 40 miles of full electric range. So bigger battery gets you a little bit more distance. Again, does this make sense for you? It's really gonna depend on your commute and access to charging, either at home or at work, preferably at work. Preferably if it's also included in your compensation or part of your package at your workplace. I guess these running lights, what you can see is it sort of makes an X with a tail light. So this is one half of it and the other X is going, the other portion of the X is going that way on the tail lights interesting design choices. All right, so let's go on the inside, which is where a lot of changes have occurred. So opening up, we have the black Sensa fin. Again, that was on the 2020. And that was on the 2022 as well. So it looks pretty nice. And our seats, really nothing's changed on that. Same nice quilting effect with a Sensa fin. Because it feels really nice, I'd say close to, say, like, Vernasca leather, but without sort of that 
scent of leather. You have the multi-contour seats, lumbar support, and your side bolster, and also your automated creme catcher. And then the inside is obviously great with iDrive 8, so that's all brand new. Here's what the interior looks like. We'll start with the steering wheel. M Sport steering wheel, nothing's changed there. But iDrive 8 is the big change from last year's model. Heads up display. All right, so the trim is the fine line black wood trim. Very nice and uh, sort of classy gloss finish on the interior trim. And basically, what if you've seen the X7 before, this is essentially what the X7 interior looks like. Now mimicked in the X5, and you saw that. And then you have that sort of thing that mimics the X7 thing here. So I imagine the X5M will be the same thing that you'll see with the M badge. And unfortunately, we did get a 2024 X5M competition. However, it arrived and was sold. That's what was customer order, I should say. Picked up before I could take a look at it. I never saw it in person, so unfortunately couldn't get it on the channel. So hopefully that will be remedied in the future. And then revised center console. So the drive selector nub, iDrive controller, all that's the same. Basically, it's the drive selector, now just a nub. The parking uh, gear here and the parking brake, all the same. And then your air vents, mimicking what's on the X7. So these are open. You can close it by twisting it this way. Back to open. Adjust where the air is blowing just by moving these or toggling these around. You can see our venting has changed on the side. Again, twist to close. And then horizontal would be open. But I think a really nice interior. Whether or not this looks integrated to you, that's going to be up to you. I think this curved display works really, really well with the X5 and basically any other BMW. Let's talk about pricing. So the big change is the pricing for the X5 50E. So I believe it's about six or seven thousand dollars over the 2023 X5 45E. So starting price is seventy-two thousand five hundred dollars. All right. So Brooklyn Gray Metallic adds another six fifty. Sensafin is included. Driving Assistance Pro for another twenty-one hundred. M Sport package from the 2750. M Sport Pro package for another 850. Parking assistance package for another 900. Premium package for 2300. Climate comfort package for another 1350. 650 for the trailer hitch. 250 for the uh, rear manual side shades. 750 for the multi contour seats. All told, MSRP of $86,045. Now, it does have Harman Kardon that is included with a premium or executive package. So that's automatically added to your bill should you order the premium package. Let's take a look at the back seat as well. All right, so of note, the rear doors, just like on the X7, don't have comfort access. So I don't know why that's the case these days, but that's what we've got. So here's the rear seats in black Sensafin. All right, and here's what the view looks like i'll do wide zoom that thing out here all right and then shade is open so here's what the cabin looks like from the back i think a very elegant looking cabin in terms of knee room and leg room you know pretty decent and of course headroom is not an issue with the x5 50e we'll take a look at the trunk momentarily all right, so move to the back. We'll use our kick to open. Oh, actually, nope, can't use kick to open because we have a trailer hitch. Aha, almost fell for that. All right, so the back, no surprises here. Looks essentially the same as before. We do have a little bit of extra storage below, but pretty decent cargo space. The controls for the back seats do not return on the LCI. That was taken away maybe in 2021. Close this up. Make our way towards the front. So it's also got revised horsepower and torque. So combined with the inline six B58, it's still detuned. So 483 horsepower, 516 torques combined with that electric motor. The deck motor is putting out about 194-ish horsepower. So a really big improvement in horsepower and torque there is again. You have to make sure that the 
uh, battery is charged to get full use of that horsepower and torque. But that's it for a, for a fairly good quick look at the brand new X550E. Of course, we'll have more on the channel as they come in, including some individual colors. And we'll see you at the next video.